Hello guys, how are you doing? Today we are going to explore a simple topic. Whether Plague Cheat is still relevant and worth the hype, or is it already outdated and not even worth considering? We will go over the features and the fun stuff, as well as some of its dark and downsides. So, let's get to it. Plague Cheat is a relatively budget-oriented cheat. It's not the cheapest, not even close. However, it also doesn't come close to some of the most expensive competitors, like Neverlose, for example. So, I would say it's more or less in the medium category. It has both legit features, as you can see right now, as well as semi-rage, and, of course, HVH features. So you do have the legit bot, as you can see. You have RCS, which is helping you control the recoil of your weapon, like AK-47. Uh, as you can see, I'm not moving my mouse. Uh, I can take an AWP, and I kill this guy using a trigger bot. So this cheat does indeed have this function. I think it's quite an important function when you're legit cheating, as you can set it up in a way that is very helpful to you, but at the same time is not very obvious because of the delay. Then we have bunny hop. Not all CS2 cheats, even the internals, have bunny hop for some reason, but on the good side, it does indeed have this option, so you can do all sorts of fun stuff. <laughs> that was fun. This guy had no idea what's going on. However, it's not all that good about Plague Cheat. It has a few downsides, that might turn you off from buying it. The first one is that it doesn't perform nearly as good as some other options on the market. Like, for example, Comp Killer, which is a little bit more expensive and a little bit better at HVH. But you have to keep in mind that even small differences between cheats do indeed matter. <laughs> that, was, that was also a very nice headshot using Triggerbot. For some reason, I love using Triggerbot on weapons that are not Deagle and up, so on rifles and all that. It's also very dope, as you can see. Uh, regardless, also there is Neverlose that is better than both Comp Killer and Plague Cheat. So when you encounter those two cheats in HVH, uh, you are pretty much dead. Of course, not in all instances, it does depend on your skill in HVH, on your positioning, on your ping, on your config, playstyle, weapons and all that, but more often than not, Comp Killer or Neverlose is going to win against you. <laughs> alright, alright. Plague Cheat, I think, is a very good and very well-priced cheat, but it has its limitations. You basically get what you pay for, which is a very well-made cheat that feels great to use, has a pretty, pretty simple UI, but it has lots of fun options like Bunny Hub, Skin Changer also, and Knife Changer with a working model changer. I know that some CS2 cheats have a skin changer, but they have not yet implemented the knife changer and the model changer, which I think is a bummer. The most fun thing about skins is having different knife models. Also, knives are pretty expensive, so you are very likely not to own them on your Steam account. Plague Cheat is trying to do something amazing for HVH, so all your worries are very likely to be mitigated. They are going to release Plague Cheat V2, which is a new, recoded version of Plague Cheat, tailored perfectly for HVH. It's supposed to be the new best thing for HVH in CS2. So I think that wraps it up for this video. Thanks so much for watching. A link for Plague Cheat for CS2 is going to be in the video description if you're interested. And I think you should be interested, as it's a very, very nice cheat that's extremely fun to use. So, thanks for watching. <laughs> oh shit. And that's it for this video. See you in the next one.